Last week, I purchased one of the biggest trucks in the entire world. This monster truck is so big, it can easily crush things. But today's video is not about the big things, it's actually about the tiny things. This right here is the world's smallest van, and it's so small that it wasn't even for sale in the United States. In fact, just for me to have this vehicle here, I had to fly halfway across the globe, all the way to Japan to purchase this van, just so we can film today's video. So let's have some fun. This thing is so small and so light, you can literally pick it up and flip it over. Okay, okay, oh my gosh. To help put this into perspective, this is a small ATV and the van is honestly not a whole lot bigger. Unlike the ATV, this thing is a car, which means this thing is street legal. Woohoo! I'm gonna be spending the next 24 hours in this tiny car. I'm gonna have 10 minutes to grab whatever materials that I want to try to survive in this thing overnight and be back in 10 minutes. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, I lose and my timer starts at three, two, one. Let's go! <laughs> Yo, Matt, should we steal it? Nah, let's have a talk. One of the hardest parts of any 24 hour challenge is the food. So I'm gonna be filling this Timur backpack up with all kinds of foods and drinks to help me get through the night. Starting with some waters. I'm gonna need a lot of this. I'm gonna get thirsty. I'm gonna need some popcorn. Some of my favorite snacks. Gummies, cereal bar, little bites, Oreos. Woo! And of course, some cereal for the morning. I got my food, and as long as I don't forget this backpack, I think I should be good to go for this challenge. All right, man, I'm driving. Ready? All right, yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Driver's seat. What? Wait, wait. Hold on. There's no I steering wheel. <laughs> How does he get in this thing? Can you even fit? Dude, you're way too tall for this know. little I thing. Even, I can even close the door. Oh. I'll just go for it. We gotta go quick. Carter's coming. Oh God, I yep. know. Okay, here we go. Uh, Carter? <laughs> what? Isn't that the van? Well, someone's stealing it. What the heck? What the heck, guys? Where are they going? Where is the tiny car? Oh, what the heck? Where are we going? Let's go off-roading. Let's do it. Hit some trails. Let's hit some jumps. Yeah. Oh my. Someone is stealing it. It's so small. Okay. I gotta catch up. I need a vehicle. I need to chase him down. And here we go. We're driving down the sidewalk. Look at that. Fits perfectly. No way. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh. Lake. Dude, this is like a little cliff. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm tipping over. Dude, we're on two wheels right now. Oh my gosh. Dude, you're pushing the limits here. <laughs> He's gonna be so mad. I'm pretty sure it went this way. I don't see him anywhere. What the heck? Well, as you can see, Matt and I are wearing the new blue Team Rar hoodies. Yep. These hoodies are live right now on TeamRar.com. You can go get yours. You should join Team Blue like us. Where did that tiny van go? What the heck? I see the monster truck over there. That's easy to find, but this tiny van is literally playing hide and seek with me right now. And if I don't get in this van soon, my 10 minute timer is gonna run out and I'm gonna lose this 24 hour challenge before it even starts. We're going right onto that bridge right there. I think we can squeeze it, here we go. Okay, Matt, hold your breath. <gasps> Suck in your belly, we can squeeze it. Oh my gosh, it fits. It barely fits. Oh my gosh, guys, there it is. It's going across the bridge. How does it even fit up there? If they fall into the water, I'm gonna be so upset. Yo, guys, come back, wait up. Uh oh, Matt, I think he's coming. All right, we gotta hide this in the woods quick. <laughs> guys, wait up. We're going so fast. Guys, wait up, I need to get in the van. I'm running out of time. Guys, wait up. There they are. Who is driving? Open the window, open up. He's caught up to us. Matt, yeah. Matthew, what are you doing? I need to get in there, right now. No, we're going. No. You're losing this challenge. You're losing. You're not getting in this thing. Oh, 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 o
literally lay flat as well, turning it into a place where you can literally sleep. And therefore, I believe that I could easily live in here for like 24 hours straight, guys. It turns into a bed and you can lay down in the world's smallest van. It's, it's insane. This is gonna be so easy. It doesn't just have one full bed. It actually has two. And because the driver's seat folds down too, you could drive the car while you lay down and get some rest. Woo! <laughs> Should we try it? Yeah. Oh, I'm literally driving and sleeping at the same time. Hang on, Matt, don't fall out. Yo, I'm literally laying down driving a car. What the heck? This is so sick. Oh, oh, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's uh, turn that off. That doesn't seem like the safest thing we've ever done. This car also has a rock and sound system. Is on the radio? I think so. Is she singing about me? Okay, hang on. You know, let's just, we don't need it. Let's just turn that off. We don't need any music. That's fine. I'm just now realizing that the trunk of this van is empty because I left every single thing that I wanted in the house, including my food and water and pillows and blankets to keep me warm. So I need to go get that stuff somehow. And I think I have a plan. So hop in, Matt. Let's go. Matt, are you in? Yeah, I'm in. I feel like I'm driving a van right now. Hang on. I need to get my supplies or I'm not going to survive the night. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure I left it. Yes, there it is, guys. All of my food and snacks is in that orange Team Rar backpack. Matt, get that for me. I need it. Matt, it's right there. Pick it up. I need it. Yeah, that's it. I need it. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matt, I need it. What are you doing? No, Matt, come back. Okay, Matt is not going to help me. Then I need to go in there and get it. Oh, there's Andrew. Yo, Andrew. Hey, Carter. I need help. Yeah, this thing is sick. Yeah, it's nice and warm in the house if you want to come in. You know I'm not leaving this van. All you gotta do is come out of the van. You can come inside. No, Andrew, I never lose a challenge, and I will stay in here for 24 hours. Guys, I don't know why Matt and Andrew are trying to tempt me so bad to lose this challenge. I barely even just started. I'm like less than an hour in, but I have a plan. If they're not gonna help me get the supplies from in the house to me, then I'm gonna bring me and the van into the house. Let's see if this works. Oh, oh, oh. Watch out, I'm moving. I'm literally driving in my house. This is insane. Move out of my way, high beams. Look how close I'm gonna run over some cushions. Get that toolbox out of here, Matt. I'm trying to drive here. I'm in the living room. I'm trying to drive. My supplies, oh my gosh. Matt and Andrew weren't gonna give it to me, so I came in and got it. This is awesome. I got some pillows. This is gonna be great. As long as I don't touch the ground, woo, I should be good. Technically have not left the van yet, Anna. Stop trying to move me, Andrew. Andrew, get out of here. All right, move, I need to go get my food now. Matt and Andrew being so annoying, but I'm gonna win this challenge. I feel like they're channeling their inner Liz or something. Like Liz isn't even here right now, but I feel like they're acting like Liz. I don't know guys, comment down below. What's going on with Matt and Andrew? Is it Liz in disguise or something? <gasps> to the kitchen to get my food. <laughs> I can't believe I'm driving this in the house, guys. Literally down the hallway. Oh, I just ran over something. Is that a speed bump in my house? Oh my gosh. And just like that. Guys, I think I just made it all the way in the house to where my food is. If my calculations are correct, guys, we should be basically in the kitchen. <gasps> and my food is right here. Unbelievable. Nobody would help me, but I got all of my supplies. We should be good. One thing I didn't pack was an ice cold drink, but that's okay. The fridge is right there and I'll just drive to it. Now, if I can just reach out without touching the ground, I should be good to go. I've never driven to the fridge in my own house, but there's a first for everything, especially here on my channel. As long as I open the door carefully, don't touch the ground. Ooh, they're so far. Don't yeah. fall, Carter. Ooh, there it is, I got it. Yes. I got my lemon LaCroix. And he's still not touching. This is literally the best 24 hour challenge ever. Now get out of my van. <laughs> I got driving to do. All right, guys, I got everything I need. I just gotta go find a nice campsite to park this thing for the night. I'm basically becoming a professional in this thing. My drink, my only cold drink fell off the dash. Did you spill some pop in the joy pot? I did. 
I'm setting up camp here tonight. This is gonna be the best spot to go camping in a van inside my house. Things have worked out really well and now it is time to eat. I got some marshmallows in my bag. And one crazy thing is that all of these Japanese micro vans come equipped with a skewer. I'm not sure why, but they all have one that's underneath the seat. And that is gonna work out really well for me when I extend it and can roast a marshmallow. Oh Without touching the ground or leaving the van, I can roast marshmallows inside the van, inside my house. That's looking really good. Mmm, no, that's a good marshmallow. This is literally the best campsite I've ever seen. I'm working on getting the perfect spot. I want to have a view of the sun when I wake up and also the heat from the fire to keep me warm. I can't run the engine all night. I think this should be the perfect spot because I have a beautiful view of the lake out this way. And if I go out the back, I should have the fire view. That and yes. Oh, this is actually even better than before. I can sit like this and get warm heat from the fire. Guys, I'm easily gonna be able to survive the night, which was supposed to be the hardest part, which I think now is the easiest because I'm back inside my own house and I got uh, all the supplies I could ever need. Easy. Well, at this point in the challenge, there's not much left to do other than to make myself comfortable, sit back, relax, close the door for some privacy, of course, and not let anyone bother me. I can see the fireplace from here and out this way. Guys, check it out. Matt is over there on the kitchen table working, and I haven't even left. And there's other maps. Matt, give me some privacy. I think it's gonna be easy, guys. I literally have so much stuff. This is so comfortable. Woohoo! I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace. Good morning, guys. It's 6 a.m. Let's see if Carter's still in this van. Oh, there he is. Look, he's still asleep. He made it the whole night. I gotta say, I think Carter was cheating. It's not fair that he was in this van, but he was also inside of the house. That doesn't no, Matt, nah, I got an idea. Let's push him outside. Here, let's open the door first. Got the door open. <gasps> Whatever you do, don't wake him. Okay, ready? Okay. Why isn't it going? Wait, it's stuck. Oh, the brake is on, guys. Let's go undo the brake. Here we go. Okay, be quiet. There we go. Okay. Is it rolling? Let's see if it rolls. Oh, yeah, it's moving. Just in time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you saved it. Looks like he's back out in the cold though. Oh my gosh, guys, what the heck? They literally pushed me out of the house and they're just walking away. They're so proud. It's freezing out here too. That's gotta be one of the craziest ways I've ever woke up with a car moving while I'm inside. Didn't go into the lake, which was nice. Let's see if she'll start up. Uh-oh. Did I leave a light on or did they drain the battery? Did you guys drain my battery? You guys pushed me out of the house and now my car won't start. I'm gonna be stuck out here in the rain. That's what you get for leaving the lights on. I didn't leave the lights on. I was inside my house. The battery is dead. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I am exhausted waking up like that. But there's only a couple more hours to finish this challenge. If I can just stick it out here without touching the ground, then I should be good to go. Matt, I need your help. I need you to give me a push. Tell you and Andrew, you I'll owe push it to you. me. I love pushing you. Yeah, Andrew's already pushed it, so I need him to push me to get this thing started. I can't be stuck out here in the freezing cold. The heat doesn't even work. I'm gonna freeze. I'm not gonna finish the challenge. Okay, fine, Carter. If you buy me more plushies from teamrar.com. Here's one. You can have this one. This one's my favorite. Yes, it's working. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, here we go. I gotta work the clutch. You gotta do it quick before you hit the leg. Oh. Yes, it worked. I'm off and running again, baby. Let's go. Woo!
Did he just call us losers, Andrew? Yeah, for real. We didn't deserve that. We are not losers. That was great. So I'm off running my little van. Now I can finally get the engine warmed up, turn the heat on, and I can survive this cold morning out here at the new Team Bar house. Matt and Andrew have been so annoying throughout this entire challenge. And I feel like if they sabotage me one more time, I'm not gonna be able to finish this thing. So I'm gonna drive to a different part of the property and try to hide out. But I'm gonna win this challenge, and that's because I wanna win it for you guys. I love making these videos, but I don't like failing, because then it's not as interesting to watch. I want to give it my all and actually stay in this cart. Oh my gosh. I, I need to hide. They're literally trying to follow me. <gasps> what the heck? That's them. That's Matt and Andrew. Why are they going this way? They're going to the exact same spot I was thinking about going. I wonder if they can hear me. I have less than an hour I need to survive in this cart. And I swear they are trying to sabotage me once and for all, guys. I need to survive in this thing. Hang on, we're going for a ride. Hello. I don't see anyone in there. It's so weird. Guys, they're in the garage where my Lambo is usually parked. Guys, Matt and Andrew have already taken my Lambo and crashed it. I can't let that happen again. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Not to mention, Andrew literally crashed the world's biggest RC car. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah! Stop, stop! Ebert! Guys, if they get anywhere near this Lambo, I think they're gonna crash it. Let's not crash this one. <laughs> oh. What did you do? Oh my gosh, you weren't supposed to do that. Don't like Carter, no. Quick, we gotta go. Whoop. All right. Where's the um the button to do donuts? Oh. Hmm. Let's just push all the buttons. Yeah. Whoa. Here we go, guys. Man, this thing is really bouncy. Oh my gosh, Carter's coming. Okay, wait. <laughs> let's go. Take off quick. Oh my gosh, guys, the door is open. Now is my chance to get in the garage. All right, let's go. Hang on. Woohoo! Oh, it's gonna be bumpy. Matt, Andrew, you better not steal my Lambo. Guys, at least now I can block him from leaving. All right, and we are in the garage. Uh, where did it go? Oh, whoa, it's slippery in here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes! Woo! Okay, I cannot believe it, guys. I have literally survived 24 hours in that thing, but just barely. And where is my Lambo? Matt, what did you do? This is the second Lambo you've broken. I don't know what's wrong with it. This is a bad idea, guys. 